The chairman of Better Life Program for African Rural Women, Aisha Babangida, has advocated equal opportunities for the girl child through digital education to promote growth. Aisha, first daughter of a former military head of state, Ibrahim Babangida, said this at an event organized by Topaz Toastmaster Club, TMC in Abuja. It is no surprise that globally, the percentage of females among STEM graduates is well below 15% over two-thirds of all countries. In today's world, there are several opportunities for both girls and boys, men and women online. But what is the point of opportunities being available online if the digital divide continues to increase? What is the, main, what is the aim of targeting the girls exclusively online if girls are more likely to be cut off from internet access? These are just questions we need to answer. I understand the answer is to raise awareness and implement programs online and offline globally. Will it be easy? Of course, it will not be easy. But nothing fulfilling comes easy. All I can promise, however, is that it will be worth it for the long The event with the theme, Digital Generation, Our Generation, was organized to commemorate this year's United Nations International Day of the Girl Child. In his remarks, the president of TMC Abuja chapter, Montaz Abubakar, stressed the need for holistic approach on empowerment of the girl child to achieve desired goals. Deserve to live in dignity, security, and importance. Still, it isn't all to and gloom. It isn't all to and gloom in any way. The digital generation of the girl child continues to run things. Girl child like Samira Bellu, one of our panelists, whom at 15 during the lockdown developed an app to help teenagers better cope with their mental health. Young child like my little cousin Zara, training us digital, uh, virtually, who makes multiple use sanitary parts and gift to pupils free of cost in my village so they can remain in school when they have to attend to their monthly biological commitment, which would otherwise have kept them out of school. Then there's Brenda Thunberg, who is everywhere, everywhere showing that the digital generation of the girl child isn't second rate in any way. Yet we can lend a bigger hand by contributing awareness and letting the girl child know that technology will be her biggest resource. Similarly, we can volunteer our skills like I currently do in the girls' school or in the girls' facility. Or you can set up an NGO or provide support funding for NGOs dedicated to the girl child or girls' issues. In that context, I'd like to commend our keynote speaker for all she does in that space. So whatever we say about us one day, and a lot to be saying behind us, or no longer on this empty plane, may it never be said that we sidestepped our opportunity to support the girl child 